thanks for joining me guys got another episode um back at the unit where my car is still currently living at the exhaust hopefully will be turning up soon fully welded um i'm gonna be taking out my old fuel pump which is a deech works drop-in one um good for stage two it's good for more power in stage two i've seen some people run 400 and a bit more on it but it's not gonna be enough for what i want which is just over 500. um looking for a pump that's dropping there's not many that's actually available i wanted to try and not use a second inline pump um, so I've gone for this Bartek one, which is drop-in. They claim it will do 600 horsepower. Couldn't find any actual real-life testing or proof of it. Um, comes with a big wiring kit as well. So I'm gonna test it out and see if it will do my over 500 horsepower. Let's get to it. So if you want to know how to do, take the fuel pump out and lay on, I'm going to give you a quick look. Obviously mine's a bit of a mess inside, but the rear seats, you can literally fold up. They're really easy to get to. It's just the base. You just fold this base up and it flips up to here. You can choose to leave it there, but really you can slide it out. It, the seat just slides into these little runner bits here, both sides, so it's easy to pick out. And then you've literally got all this room that I've got. The tank. is under these couple screws. So I'm gonna get these off and get to the next bit and then I'll show you. Right, so this is what it looks like when you get down under the fuel tank. Got a plug undo the plug and then these are just quick release fittings now the fittings i'm trying not to block the light you'd be able to see better if i had a torch i might go grab one they've got little push tabs so you literally push on them and they'll pull up and this is how the fuel tank the um how to get the fuel pump will literally unscrew that and then you can literally slide it all out it's real easy i need a torch Right, so I've got a torch, as you can see here, hopefully, that's in the right place. Right, so you can hopefully see now, right here, that is a push tab, as you can see, my push on it, it goes in. So if you push it in, and pull it up at the same time, it's off. And the same with this one. This one's a bit more awkward because it's tucked away, but you can still get on it. There you go. It's that easy. And I would take a picture of this personally, especially if it's your first time, so you remember which pipe goes where. And then it's just a normal VW clip. And then pulls off. I'm gonna hoover up and clean up around here, and then I'll get back to you. Right, so I'm going to take the cap off now. I'm not, I've cleaned it a little bit. I don't need to clean it too much, really. Mine's not too bad. Um, plugs off. These are to the side. Now, this is just a big securing ring. Now, they are quite tight, so what I tend to do is I will put you down. I literally put something there and tap it round. Now it's off. These hard line pipes can be annoying. Just try to tuck them to the side somewhere. There you go, that's off. And now we can literally pull it out. Now you have got to fiddle it about to get it out. So I will probably put you down so I can use two hands to do it. It's 
so as you can see it is quite tight and the rubber seal has kind of come up with that it's actually draining some fuel out now so i'm going to leave that a minute draining then we'll come back to it and i'll show you how to take it apart and we'll pop in the new one I've cut the old pipe off, which was a pain. I had to cut it off the top there. I've got the new pipe that they supply, because I might as well. I've managed to get on this end, and I've got the Jubilee clip for here. Jubilee clip for there is on. And now I've got to do this pipe this. Pipe this pipe here onto that. So I'm draining out the old fuel now, as it's uh, over two years old. I'm just filling up this, just gravity draining it. Just filling up that little one first, as that I'll use for the um, petrol trimmer. And I'm gonna fill this old container up and God knows, who knows what we'll do with this. I'm hoping to get all of it or most of it out, because I don't really want it because it's so old. If there's a tiny bit left, it's fine because I'll fill the whole tank up. I've got that going. I'm smoothing in some um, side skirts. That ain't good! All right. Well, it used to be cube, cube size skirts. Not anymore. So I just did that quick time lapse there. You saw me um, fit in my Jat Engineering three port Mac valve billet holder.
teeth in there properly. I used the bolts that it came with, but not the nuts. Quite a lot of people just drill holes and put them somewhere or velcro them or stick them on. But I've done it properly using the rib nuts you just saw. Couldn't get any more genuine than this. Shiny. Looks awesome. Well, it's going to be on show anyway. And there was a nice space there that I wasn't using anymore. So on the inside, done on here. See the two bolt holes, two bolts sticking out. They're well away from the wiring, even if I put the wiring down there. As you can see, they're well away. Slowly come together, all the fuel's drained out. Um, and then it won't be far to get the um, airlines off of the wastegate down here. The top and bottom of that onto the gate and the turbo will sit just there onto the gate. So well happy with that. I don't think I filmed anything last time. I fitted all the shifter linkages. So you've got the cable that does clear. It does clear it. I could always make a little heat shield that bolts off of it like um, my mate did to give them protection but they they have got additional sleeving over them to so the factory one. I've got bracket that's billet mount and these diesel geeks billet shifters shifters with spherical bearings in. Um, that's pretty much where I got to so far. So that's me done here today. Done a couple bits, drained all the tank, new fuel pump, fitted the three port Mac valve and helped him on, on his golf track car. Again, thanks to Bath Recovery for helping me out. Collected my car, looked after it and delivered it here. And they're also gonna be taking it back home for me when I need to as well. Catch you next one, guys.